9 out of 10 American dentists recommend P-Dubs Arcade Loft for healthy teeth and gums. Hey everybody, welcome back to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. I appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us. Now in the past, I've done plenty of videos showing you the awesome marquees made by Angel Otero, as well as how to get those installed on your Arcade 1UP machines. I've always gone the remote control route, but by popular request, on today's episode, we're going to show you really quickly how you can install a light-up marquee on your Generation 1 Arcade 1UP cabinet and how you can tie it into the existing on-off switch so it powers on and off with your cabinet. And we're going to show you that video right after this. Okay guys, as you've seen on our channel, I usually get my marquees from Angel Otero off of Facebook. His marquees are amazing. You can tell just by looking at the way the sun comes through the back window and highlights uh, through his marquee. You can tell it's going to light up and look gorgeous. Uh, so what you want to do first thing first is go ahead and mount his new marquee. If you don't know how to mount one of his marquees, I've posted a couple videos on my channel. Go ahead and get it mounted and follow those videos. And when you order from Angel, let them know that you want to wire the marquee into the existing power supply or power switch. That way he knows what harness to send you. He's going to send you a Y splitter cable. He's going to send you an LED strip that's already got the uh, wiring set up uh, to plug in the marquee for power. As well as he's going to get you a couple screws. These are the screws you need when you're all done to permanently uh, screw into the side panels. Gives you a little extra clip if you want to keep your wires clean. And then of course, here is the special wiring harness we're gonna to use to wire into our existing power supply. Note that it's actually two pieces. He just sends them this way so they don't get lost in shipping. But we got two separate pieces. One is a bridge, the other is a harness. And I'm gonna show you how to get it all plugged in. So you remove your control deck and open up the bottom of the control deck so you can access the encoder board underneath. And you're looking for the button, or I'm sorry, the wire labeled power. So the first thing we want to do is get this power wire removed. This is the stock power wire for the on off switch. So very carefully, there might be glue there. Get that power wire removed. As you can see, it's now dangling. After your power wire is removed, you're going to grab this little bridge that Angel sent you and you're going to plug that in where the original power wire was plugged into the encoder board. This will bridge the power signal and make sure that the system thinks that the machine is turned on at all times. But don't worry, it's going to get really exciting here in a minute. So you're going to have two dangly wires and I'm going to show you what happens next. Now from here you can go ahead and put your bottom case back on if you want. However, make sure you, before you screw it down, you run the wire through for that existing power supply, the original Arcade 1UP power supply wire. You want to, let me try and get you a good angle here. You want to run it through, but make sure it's not in the way so you can still plug in your ribbon cable. You see that? And the other bridge wire, you can leave that hidden inside. But this is kind of how you want it to look. Okay, guys, now for the next step, go ahead and uh, get your control deck back in place and go ahead and plug in your ribbon cable. Make sure you don't damage or pinch that power switch wire you have uh, squeezing through. Go ahead and get that ribbon cable plugged in. Zooming in underneath the cabinet, this is what you see. Right next to your ribbon cable, you're going to see that little wire is sitting there ready to go. At this point, go ahead and grab that nice harness that Angel gave you, and we're going to plug this in to that wire. So we're going to very carefully, without damaging anything, get this plugged in. And after you get it plugged in, what's nice is uh, Angel gave you a little uh, wire hanging hook with some double-sided sticky tape on it. So we're going to go ahead and tape that up right here. That way it's not dangling and doesn't look funny. After you peel the back and stick the tape on there, it's going to look a little something like this. Make sure the connection is nice and tight and we're ready to move on to the next step. We got our harness in and it's ready to get powered up. This is really going to become plug and play. You're going to love it. 
Let's go ahead and get our LED strip mounted now. So first thing you got to do is peel off the red backing so we can access the adhesive uh, tape that Angel put underneath. Once you get it peeled, you could go ahead and get it lined up and put it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the brown top of the actual monitor uh, because that's at a nice little angle. It's not at a 90 degree angle. It's more or less like kind of like a 75, 80 degree angle and it angles the LED strip. That way it'll shine and illuminate the entire back of the marquee out the front. You guys are not going to believe it, but we're almost done. Can you believe it? We're almost done. This is so easy. Okay, so what you want to do now is grab the power cable that you plug into your Arcade One Up. This is the actual power cable that you usually would plug into your PCB board, right? And we're going to plug it into one side of the harness, into the female side. Now we have the male side of the harness exposed, and we want to plug that into the female side of the Y splitter. From the Y splitter, we're going to take one of the male ends and we're going to plug this into the PCB board to power on our machine. And the other wire is going to go up into the dangling wire from the LED strip. And we are all wired up and ready to go. Okay, guys, moment of truth time. Let's fire her up. And there she goes. Hit the on switch and our marquee popped right on. Marquee looks great and our machine is powering up. And not only that, Glenn's trackball is also fired up and ready to go. That is the GRS trackball and spinner. By the way, I would highly, highly recommend you get those to improve your 12-in-1 Arcade 1-Up machine. Love them. Shout out to Glenn. Shout out to Angel. And as you can see, we hit the off switch and everything turned off. Let's do it one more time. Hit the on switch. And of course, puppy cameos. And boom. There you go. As you can see, guys works like a charm. At this point, you can put the back of the cabinet on and stick it back where you want it. All right, guys, as we kind of close things out here, as you can see, boom, love it. Fantastic job, Angel. What an easy, easy way to get a marquee connected to the on-off switch with your Arcade One Up cabinet. Fantastic job, my friend. Also, shout out to Glenn for that Glenn's Retro Show spinner and trackball. Highly recommend you get those as well. The marquee looks fantastic. Um, guys, I really hope you've been enjoying the walkthrough videos that we've been putting on. Do us a favor, leave your comments below. Let us know if you enjoyed the walkthrough and what other walkthroughs you'd like to see down the road. If you're new to the channel, please show us your support. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Click that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss any other future content. Make sure you check out the playlists on the channel. Anything you want from Arcade One Up, At Games, Toy Shock, etc., is all on there for you, nice and organized. As always, guys, can't thank you enough for hanging out upstairs with us. Thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Have fun modding your cabinets. Rock and roll, I'm out!